They say you should always go for greatness. Because anything else is a waste of time. Becoming an athlete was easy. Everyone would do it. But easy ain't what got us here. Hard work, early mornings, mental discipline, that's what it takes. You want greatness? Throw yourself to the wall. Then come back leading the pack. What's up guys, Landon here from the Full-Time Filmmaker team, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes of that intro sequence that you just saw. Now we're gonna be splitting up this video into seven categories, who, what, and why, gear, pre-planning, lighting, directing, camera settings, and finally, audio. Now right off the bat, the company that we're shooting with today is Alpha Theory. I work with them quite a bit, and in the past, I've done quick promos and other content for social media, but this time we wanted to make something specifically for their website. Basically just a video banner to go at the top. And since banners like that are super widescreen with crazy wide aspect ratios, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to shoot anamorphic. Now, if you don't know what anamorphic lenses do, they essentially take your image and squeeze it together on the sides. Then in post, you can go in and de-squeeze your image and you get a super wide aspect ratio. For us, that'll be a 2.39 to 1 or CinemaScope, which is a pretty standard aspect ratio for Hollywood movies. A couple of other perks for shooting anamorphic are those intense horizontal lens flares and that smooth cinematic bokeh you get behind your subject. And the rig we're working with today cost between six and seven thousand dollars honestly not a terrible price considering that's the entire setup lens camera monitor batteries etc to compare the 1dx mark iii that we recently reviewed it goes for sixty five hundred dollars and that's just the camera body honestly i don't think this anamorphic rig will ever replace my canon cameras i think they're just different tools for different purposes so the brain of this rig is the z cam e2 coming in at just two thousand dollars this camera manages to shoot 4k at 160 frames per second with 10-bit color when you shoot internally and later Later this month, June 2020, they're releasing an update with Atomos that'll allow you to shoot 12-bit ProRes RAW, which is honestly crazy considering the cost of this thing. Now this model in particular has a micro four-thirds sensor, which is quite a bit smaller than the full-frame sensors that I'm used to on the 1DX and the EOS R, but I actually went with the smaller sensor on purpose. And that's so I could pair it with this, the Vazen 40 millimeter T2 1.8 times anamorphic lens. And right now this lens is only available for micro four-thirds cameras. And after seeing some test footage from other people, I had to try it out. Honestly, this camera and this lens is a match made in heaven. When you put them together and you wrap them up in a cage, some rails, handles, etc., it makes an awesome budget cinema rig. I've started calling it the mini red because it's a fraction of the cost of an actual red and the images you get out of it are super clean. Now, honestly, I did hours and hours of research to find all the parts that I needed for this rig, but I figured I'd save you some time. So I put together an entirely new kit with links to literally every piece that you see on this setup. So just hit the link below. Enough about the gear though, let's jump into the actual video. Now in preparing for the shoot I ended up watching quite a few different videos from brands like Under Armour and the creators like Morgan Cooper all of which gave me a ton of inspiration for the direction of this video. And I think the biggest advantage of taking the time to see what other creators have done and really plan out your video is that you'll grow and improve so much faster in your filmmaking career. So for this video I jotted down a few cool shots that I liked from other videos, found a cool song that matched the vibe that I wanted, and I threw together a quick script for our voiceover artist to read. A good voiceover for something like this will run you around 100 bucks which I think is totally worth it depending on your video because it really raises the overall production value. So after lining up our voiceover with the song that I chose, I played it back over and over and honestly just imagined each shot and how it would fit with the music. Then I transferred those into a concrete shot list and I was able to show up on set today knowing exactly what I needed to get. So kind of be thinking of three workouts that is kind of unique to you that you can do really well yeah. and that are kind of intense, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lots of movement. These are fast paced shots right here. Yeah. Since we're working with two different fitness models who would never actually interact with each other in the video, I needed to find a way to naturally separate them. So I decided to use low key lighting for our male model, meaning that his shots would be more dark and moody, and then high key lighting for our female model, so her shots would be more bright and airy. So for Cole, we put together one main light setup. These three tube lights attached to the squat rack around me, then a key light with a honeycomb grid lighting one side of his face. You can see with some of these shots that we went for more of a Rembrandt lighting, which places a triangle on the camera side of our 
subject's face. We also had a little bit of backlight coming in through the windows to give us some nice ambient lighting. And for Taylor, we shot mostly outside and since today is kind of rainy and overcast, the lighting was really soft and flattering. This is honestly my favorite weather to shoot in because it's almost like you have one big soft light lighting your scene. Working with fitness models is honestly really fun because each model has a special workout or something that's unique to them. For example, Cole has crazy upper body strength, so I thought the pull-up bar would be a great place for him to showcase his skills. And Taylor is an indoor cycling instructor, so we put her on an exercise bike since that's her forte. When it comes to directing a fitness model, they obviously know the most proper form for whatever workout they're doing, but it doesn't always mean they look natural on camera. Usually the movements they're making are great, but sometimes their eyes are looking around the room or they'll glance at the camera or they're just staring straight ahead of them. So as the director, you need to make sure that they look confident and determined. Turn to your right a little bit more. Hands on your head. Kind of close your eyes, yeah. All right, do it one more time. Um, hands on your head, facing a little bit more that way, yep. And then close your eyes the majority of the time. And if you look, look like direct, like that way only, yeah. Okay, ready, and three, two, one, go. A good rule of thumb I go by is if they look uncomfortable or awkward while they're doing a workout, have them focus on the movement that they're making. So if it's dumbbell curls, for example, have them look at each dumbbell as they bring it up to their chest. That is what's gonna sell the shot. Now, if you're into fitness and you watch a video like this, you want to feel like you're a part of the action that's taking place, as if you're here in person with these athletes. That being said, shooting handheld was the most obvious approach to this video. Going handheld also means I can follow my subject more easily, which is important because they're usually making quick movements that I wouldn't be able to follow if I were on a gimbal. With this rig specifically, I'll usually bring the battery right up against my chest with my right hand on the wooden grip, my left hand supporting the lens, and my chin resting on top of the battery. This will give you great control over the camera and in a way imitates really well the movements that someone would be making if they were there in person watching the athlete work out. Now for some shots, I still wanted that handheld look, but I needed a little bit more movement, so I brought along a long board and sat on it while someone pushed me towards the subject. This still gave it a handheld vibe, but I was able to make a faster movement and actually work on the focus and the framing rather than the walking. As for the general camera settings that I'm using, resolution is at 4K, so we'll have a nice crisp image and it'll allow me to adjust the framing in post if I need to. Frame rate is mixed between 23.976 and 60 frames per second, depending on the shot. If it's something I'll most likely slow down while editing, I'll do 60, but if it's a fast paced shot, I'll almost always shoot it at 23.976. Shutter speed is always double my frame rate, so either one over 50 or one over 125. You can always bump this up higher in case there's too much motion blur, but this is where I usually keep it since it's the most natural and it imitates what your eyes would be seeing. Aperture is at a T2, which is the lowest this lens can go. I keep it here because it brings in the most light and it gives you that awesome bokeh behind your subject. And finally, I adjust my ISO last until I have proper exposure. Now, if it's still too bright, I use an ND filter to pull it down even further. And the color profile that I'm using for this shoot is called HLG or Hybrid Log Gamma, which is essentially a hybrid of a standard profile like Rec. 709 and log. So you're getting really good dynamic range. One of the benefits of shooting in log, but you don't have to spend nearly as much time in the editing room, bringing all the contrast and the colors in your image back to life. And almost as important as the visuals of a fitness video is the audio. Especially in those fast paced clips, if you want your audience to feel like they're deep in the action, you need to surround them with good audio. So after every workout with my athletes, I'll ask everyone to be quiet on set, then pull out my handy recorder and have them do the workout one more time so I can get some clean audio. Usually they're pretty timid and don't actually make a lot of noise while they're doing the workout, so I'll remind them to really accentuate the exhales and whatnot. I'll also grab some audio from the equipment that they're using, so if our model is jump roping, I'll make sure I'm capturing the sound of that jump rope hitting the floor. Now, those are all the categories and things I wanted to go over, but here's a few extra clips from the behind the scenes. Great, I really like it. Yeah, I love it when you grab my hips. Action! Right about there, yep. Ready, go for it. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Ready, three, two, one, go for it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. And before you go, I wanted to tell you that we've teamed up with Five Day Deal again. Now, Five Day Deal takes dozens of course creators and other products and services that are specifically geared towards video creators, and it bundles them all together into an extremely affordable package. So this year, we've contributed Seamless Video Pro to the bundle, which currently retails at $97. If you were to buy each of these courses and resources individually, they all together come out to a total retail value of over $2,700. This bundle is already cheaper than our Seamless Video Pro 
mini course. So for just $89, you get access to that, plus access to all of these creators and their awesome resources. So click the link in the description to get started. The sale ends on June 16th at midnight, which is actually tomorrow. And all the coupon codes will expire after that date, so make sure you hop on it right now. But if you wanna check out our full course where we teach you all kinds of video creation and take you along on even more job shadows, just like this one, hit the link down below. I've also thrown together a link for our free one hour filmmaking training, so don't wait, watch it right now. But guys, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please let us know.